And I know that not everybody loves him, that he's been inconsistent, been suspended, had issues, but they still see somebody that is respected in their locker room, that is liked by his teammates, that is capable on the football field, who's only 24 years old and still growing. That, to me, is the key in all of this. That he's only 24. Yeah, I mean, listen, uh, Ryan Finley, the quarterback, the prospect out of NC State, I believe is like a, not even a full year younger than him. I mean, you just get in a sense of Jameis Winston's played four years in the NFL now. Give me one guy right now who you would think is available mm. out there that could be an upgrade. Because when you think about the list, as I give you a moment, you can't tell. It's hard to come up with a single name that is going to be a better quarterback next year for the Buccaneers than Jameis Winston you're, for any faults and warts that he's had through his first few years in the you're NFL. Right. And you're right. And you know what? The only reason I would say that is because, look, when you're talking about veteran player acquisition in particular, all right, you're, you're banking on the fact that you can reproduce the environment and the atmosphere that that player just came from so you can get the same kind of performance that that player – you know, that attracted you to that player in the first place. That's the number one thing I talk about with Nick Foles all the time. If you can give me Doug Peterson and you can give me Alshon Jeffrey. Fit matters. I will, take, I will take Nick Foles and I will give you a high draft pick for him. But when people say, well, you need to just trade him because the guy could absolutely like, improve your football team. Nick has something special with the place that he's at. He's never performed like that before anywhere else. Nope. He hasn't. So I, I can't give you that answer. And, again, that's probably that's one of the reasons no, why you would hold on to what you know.